The configurations for directory press can be found using the top tab options and scrolling down the pages and adjusting the options to suit your website requirements. A key element within directory press is the ability to use the premium press API to generate thumbnail images of websites. If you have problems viewing your website images, either they are blank or not displaying, try disabling the see URL storage options and ensure you set a default size for the images to be displayed on your website. Also ensure that the storage paths, the location where you'll be storing the website images, is set correctly in, under the image section options. The system will try to generate the default path for you. So if you are unsure, try copy and pasting the path underneath the text boxes. Go through each of the tabs to ensure all of the options are set up correctly. To make customizing your directory press website easier, we have grouped all of the customization options under number 2, Display Setup. On these pages, you can turn on and off most of the display settings within directory press. Navigation menu bar options can be turned on and off just by checking the boxes. All of the options are accompanied by an image to help you understand which part of the website these changes will reflect to. Go through each of the tab one by one and adjust the settings according to your website requirements. wish to edit or customize the code within directory press you can do this under the appearances editor options within wordpress all of the core code pages are found on the right hand side there are a number of template pages set up in directory press which will enable you to create the contact pages and submission pages on your directory website. To set up these pages, we need to create pages within WordPress. To do this, in the admin area, we click on Pages and view all of the pages currently available. If you've used the factory default settings, these pages will be created automatically for you. If any of the pages are not available, click on Add New and manually create the pages yourself. The key element here is using the page attribute options to select the template for each of the pages. So for example, in this case, if we wanted to create a contact page, we would select number one, contact page, and create a page title that represents our contact page. We do this for each of the page templates. To ensure our website pages are linked together, we use the general setup page setup tabs. Scrolling down you can then choose the pages which will link to the buttons on your website. To allow and enable website visitors to submit their websites to your website directory you need to set up a submission page. To do this we go into the admin area and on number 3 submit to listing we can then configure the options to our website requirements. The key options here are the submission, enable and disable submission pages, enable enable members to be logged in and out before they can submit website listings, and the default status of a listing once it's been submitted. Also, if you wish to run packages on your website, you can en enable packages here and click on the package options to view more details, including setting package prices and subscription options. Another key option within DirectPress is to set up custom fields. Custom fields allow you to specify your own field that members will enter when they submit content to your website. You enable it and then enable the display of this field. Enter any caption, a 
default value if required and a unique stored key such as key 1, key 2 etc. This value must not be blank otherwise the field will not save correctly. You can then select which type of listing field it will be, either a text box, text area or a list box. If you wish to use a list box, use the default value options and separate each list value with a star sign. You can then specify whether or not this field will be displayed for each or all of the package options just by ticking them. Adding new listings to our directory website is as simple as adding posts to your WordPress blog. We do this in the admin area under posts and add new posts. Here we can enter the title, content and fill out additional fields for the directory website. We can select images, featured images, package options and additional custom fields will be added if you've entered them in the admin area. To view all existing posts we click on posts and using the posts filter tool we can filter and display different posts based on categories, dates and admin options. Each post has a thumbnail of image which is generated using the Premium Press API. The image is generated from the website URL entered. Some of the options available within Directory Press include featured website options which will display the website in blue at the top of each of the category listings, map options which will use for displaying Google Maps, display counters, bid values, images. The image value here will overwrite the default image preview of the website if entered. Gallery images create a gallery of images for the, for the website listing package options can be set in the admin area under number 3 submit listings. You can assign each listing to one or more categories and create tags as normal in WordPress. See it wasn't that difficult was it? Well that's all from me for now. Thank you and take care. Bye bye.